Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be a love reading for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. This is also Valentine's Day week, so my lovelies, let's get into it. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising regarding your love life. What messages do you have for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising regarding your love life at this time, please? What is the focus for Capricorn? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, justice. Okay, so Capricorn, you may be dealing with a Libra. Or you may just be trying to keep balance and do the right thing. We'll get some more cards to see. Okay. Oh, we had those both come out. Okay. All right, so we have an air sign, king of swords, Aries, uh, not Aries, I'm sorry, air sign, I say Aries, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, or this could be somebody that's very outspoken, could be a little harsh sometimes, rough around the edges, and then you also have a water sign here, queen of cups, you may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone that's very emotional or very loving, okay. Could also be a wife, mother, sweetheart. So whatever it is that you got going on here, Capricorn, I mean, you may be one of these signs. Even though you are an earth sign, you may be taking on the energy of one of these. And you may just be trying to keep that balance and do the right thing in the relationship that you're in. And if this isn't your energy, this could be their energy. So you could be... Um, you, it's not gender specific, so you may be the king of swords in this relationship where you're just very honest and truthful and you could be a little harsh and, and um, outspoken and bold sometimes. Uh, or you could be the one that's more soft and loving and caring and emotional and nurturing. Okay, so however this resonates with you, but for whatever reason with what you have going on, you're just like I said, you're just trying to keep the balance in the relationship and do the right thing. Okay, so let's... Let's go straight to the Love Oracle deck and see what's going on with Capricorn at this time. What's going on in Capricorn's love life? Please clarify Justice, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. These all flipped. Okay. All right. And I'm also hearing for some of you, you may be involved in a multiple relationship situation. So you may be involved with an air sign and a water sign. And you're trying to balance who do you choose between. So if you're in a third party, that could also be what's going on here. Okay, so yeah. All right, so the, yeah, this makes sense with these three that flipped because as I was thinking this message of a third-party situation, these three cards came out. The Grim Reaper, self-indulgence, and separation. So the Grim Reaper here says the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. So you could be trying to choose between these two people. You're trying to do the right thing and, and balance out which is better, okay? Um, with separation, there is sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So you're sad and you're unsure of the future with, you know, who you're going to get rid of, but you're focusing on yourself, um, and, uh, here you're doing self-indulgence. So you're, you're trying to figure out, well, who is best for you, okay? Who's the best match for you? Okay, then we have date. Meeting someone new, dating getting back out there, plan, set a date. Okay, so if you're not in a third party situation and you are either the air sign or the water sign that's you know taking that energy, like I said, and you're trying to do the right thing and balance, you may be looking to break up with someone because you wanna go out and date other people and you're trying to think of, well, what's the best way to let this person down gently? You know, how, how do I do this? This could also be a divorce. So if, like I said, divorce, breakup. So if you're trying to separate from someone, which is also here, separation, it doesn't have to be for a third party situation, but if you do have to separate from someone, 
um, the relationship is over. You're done. You know, you don't want to do this anymore. You want to focus on yourself. You want to see other people. You want to see who else is out there that's better suited for you. Wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay, so it could be that with the third party situation, you're going to marry one of these two people. Mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. Yeah, you're in a, you're, all right, so in a third party scenario, you're treating somebody this way, or this is just you wearing a mask, you're not showing your true feelings, actually. You're hiding from the truth, okay? And you're pretending that everything is fine. They may not know that there's two other people involved, you know? Uh, like them and someone else and then for those of you that are looking to just get out of a relationship it has nothing to do with the third party you haven't been showing your true feelings you, you haven't been telling this person how you feel so they're you know they may know that something has been off about you but they didn't know that you wanted to like get a divorce or break up okay and then we have abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss so you feel very confident and positive that with whatever scenario it is you will be just fine that you will find love you'll be happy like you're very confident in your decision to go forward whether it's you know break up get a divorce because you just want to find somebody better suited for you or you're in a third party situation and the person that you choose to marry you feel very confident about that relationship and that decision and that going forward everything will be fine Okay, so what are the messages do we have here for Capricorn? What are the messages do we have for Capricorn regarding their love life at this time, please? Yeah, you feel like it's your time to shine. You've been quiet enough. You've been hiding enough. You've been... Um, I'm hearing kind enough that you've been, you know, thinking of this other person's feelings... And, and how to go about with justice. Yeah, acceptance. You've accepted that it is what it is. That's how you feel. And that's what you want to do. And that's what you're going to do. Uh, yeah, you've been conflicted. But now you're, you've accepted what you want to do. Okay. Now, again, if this is not you, this could be the person that you're dealing with, how they feel. Okay, power of love. What messages do we have for Capricorn, please? Regarding your love life. Thank you. Willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. Okay, so for those of you in a third party situation, um, this person that you're with, that you've decided on, they've been compromising. Like, okay, well, I'll stick around. I'll wait as long as you're going to pick me. You know, as long as I'm the one you want, then I understand and I'll wait. Present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. Okay, let's see. Okay, what other messages do we have for Capricorn regarding your love life at this time and regarding this reading? Okay, we have Sharon. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies. Okay, so key word here that's sticking out for me is empathy. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Capricorn? Cancer. All right, so some of you may be dealing with a cancer. I'm also getting somebody may have beat cancer. And for some of you, if this person is actually breaking up on you, breaking up with you, uh, you may be like, I hope you get cancer because you're so upset with them. And I know it's not something to joke about, but, you know, to just be, you know, don't not to be sensitive about it, you know. No sensitivity here. Come on. I don't want to have to watch every little thing that I say. Okay, so cancer. You may be dealing with a cancer energy. So this energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother, or a child. Okay. So like I said here with Queen of Cups, wife, mother, sweetheart. So if this is somebody that you have a family with 
and you're looking to get divorced you may have children also so it's very hard for you maybe your child is a cancer it may be very hard it may have been very hard for you you know being conflicted to accept the fact that okay this is what I really want to do I have to move forward with my life it's not an easy decision but you know you're still gonna do the right thing to take care of all parties involved okay all right so that's all I have for you Capricorn thank you so much for watching sharing liking and subscribing many blessings to you peace and love and I will see you in the next reading